Hey, what's up? I'm so excited for today's video. But before we start, I have some questions. Are you going to be starting summer break soon? Are you planning on traveling and would like to make some friends at the same time? Or are you going to be staying at home and would like to try some fun activities? Well, if that's the case, then I have the perfect solution for you. I was recently reached out by an app that was wondering if I'd like to promote it to you. But of course, before I promote anything on this channel, I have to make sure it's going to be beneficial for you and that you are going to enjoy it. So after reviewing the app, I was shocked by how perfect it was for both you and me. The app is Ven, and I'm going to talk to you all about it today. So Ven is perfect for people that would like to meet new people and make friends in a fun way. But Ven isn't your typical online friends app because they have very unique features. One of them being activities. So activities is perfect for people that would rather meet up in larger groups. So you're able to meet up with more people and do fun things at the same time. So you could either attend a group that is already planned or you can create your own. Another great feature is that they ask more personal questions about your values and preferences because they take matching people and personalities very seriously. That way they're able to connect you with someone that have the exact same ideas and values as you. So when could you use this app and who is it for? So the great thing about this app is that it's for everybody and in any single stage of their life. For example, if you are currently living alone, then you could use this app to maybe find your next roommate. Or if you're an expat and you just moved to a new city, then this is a great way to maybe connect with people and find your next group of friends in this new city. Or if you are a tourist and are traveling around the world, then you could use this app to connect with different tourists or even connect with locals and try some local activities to better understand the city that you are visiting. Another great time to use this app is right now, because most of us, or at least the people in the Northern Hemisphere, we're going to be going on summer break very soon. And summer is a perfect time to connect with people, do fun things, and try things we've never tried before. So even if you're not going to be traveling and you can't be using this app as a tourist, you could be trying it in your own city and trying out the fun activities. You could also create activities of the things that you're already going to be doing with your friends. For example, I'm going to be using this app with my friends when we decide to go to the beach. Who knows, maybe somebody else that loves going to the beach or another polyglot decides to come along. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is that the great thing about this app is that there's no pressure. You don't have to do things that you don't enjoy. So if you're more on the shy end and you don't like trying new things, especially with people that you don't know, then you could be using this app to find other people that love the things that you love. Maybe if you love hiking or if you love watching movies, if you love reading, if you love running or if you love volunteering you could use this app to find people that love doing the exact same things as you and you could find your next best friend okay and now we're gonna do a walkthrough of the app so i'm gonna put my phone screen right here so you guys can kind of follow along just to kind of show you how it kind of works so you go to the app store and you search up ven v-e-n-n -N, and you're going to get the app then you're going to sign in. It's going to ask for some personal information like your phone number and then your name, your age, just so you could connect with people that are kind of in the same age group. Then it's going to ask for some pictures. So you're kind of going to be, you know, creating your profile. So these pictures should kind of show your personality and kind of what you want the other person to kind of see. So I'm kind of just using random pictures um, just so you guys can get the overall idea. Then it's going to ask for kind of the more personal things, such as your description, your values and preferences, what activities you would like to do with these new possible friends, and what are the things that you love doing. So it's gonna kind of ask for your movie preference, uh, maybe play any sports, if you are more on the study side or maybe more on the party side, like you'll ask all of your personal questions. And for the values and preferences, these could get kind of deep. So they're kind of personal, but the good thing is it's gonna help, you know, connect you with the right people. So once you complete that, then you're ready to start scrolling away and finding your next friend. Well guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are interested in trying out the app, I will include a link in the description box down below. And also let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the app. And if you tried it out, let me know if you're able to make some friends. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.